Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Since we've just gotten even more news on who's going to be in Jurassic World 3, I thought I'd go ahead and do an update video for all of us who are excited for the final entry in the trilogy. Today, we're going to be going over everything that we currently know about the next Jurassic movie. <laughs> So just yesterday, we got some information surrounding two returning cast members who happen to be confirmed for the new movie. These actors being Omar Sy and Jake Johnson, who of course play animal behaviorist Barry and control room worker Lowry in 2015's Jurassic World. Now, originally, many of you may be surprised to learn that both of these guys were actually supposed to come back to Fallen Kingdom before story changes were made somewhere along the way. I can remember quite a few years ago, Colin Trevorrow posted an image of Jurassic Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues, for Super Nintendo on his Twitter account, saying that he was doing research for the fifth movie, which was very loosely talked about involving Owen and Barry being on the island during all this volcanic stuff in a similar way to how Alan Grant and Michael Wolfskin were incorporated in The Chaos Continues. Of course, all that changed later on down the line, and eventually Lowry's role would just get imprinted on the new Franklin character that was portrayed by Justice Smith. Speaking of Justice Smith, both he and Daniela Pineda will be returning in the next film alongside Sam Neill as Alan Grant, Jeff Goldblum as Ian Malcolm, and Laura Dern as Dr. Ellie Sattler. Owen and Claire will of course return with Maisie Lockwood and Michael Crichton's wildly misguided sci-fi geneticist B.D. Wong as Dr. Henry Wu. With the cast this jam-packed, it's safe to say at least one of these guys just might not make it out alive in the next movie. But we're actually not done just yet with listing off the cast, because newcomers Mamadou Athi and Dewanda Wise will also be joining in on the adventure. With that being said, as far as the story goes, we last left off with the dinosaurs all escaping the Lockwood Manor in Northern California. Now, about one year later, we got to see a pair of Nasutoceratops take on an Allosaurus deep in the redwoods of that state, while simultaneously making a really good case for why the humans should absolutely hate these dinosaurs. Of course, in universe, there are two opposing sides to this argument. One being Claire Deering's point of view with the Dinosaur Protection Group, who of course is lobbying to try and help save these endangered animals. While the other viewpoint happens to be that of Dr. Ian Malcolm, who is doing everything in his power to see them all get killed off. Of course, you have those caught up in the middle, like Owen Grady, who, while absolutely having a pre-existing attachment with one of these awesome animals, still doesn't agree with, quote, saving all of them when it comes to the expense of human lives, which is something that I really think is going to make this next film extremely interesting. Jurassic World 3 is set to film in a variety of different locations when compared to its predecessor, with confirmed areas being the likes of Malta and Europe, alongside Pinewood Studios, British Columbia, and, interestingly, Hawaii as a returning spot to film. This information alongside some of the other stuff that we know about that has happened in universe has caused some fans to speculate on whether or not an old island location may be coming back to the next film. While Isla Nublar may not be a contender, since, you know, it blew up, Isla Sorna is being talked about a bit by some people in the fandom. Personally, I think it's best to just wait this out and see where the next bits of information takes us, because at the time being, we don't really have too much to go off of. But it definitely is something to think about. Anyways, Jurassic World 3 will, no matter what, be predominantly set on the mainland. Dinosaurs have finally gotten off the islands and into the outside world the way they were always supposed to ever since 1990. Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, and Ellie Sattler are going to be joining Owen and Claire in what is being designed to be the culmination of everything that we've seen take place in the franchise ever since the original movie. We've gotten some behind the scenes looks at a lot of new animatronics that are being built for the new film, and Colin Trevorrow will be returning alongside Steven Spielberg and newcomer Emily Carmichael to wrap up everything that we've seen go down in the Jurassic World trilogy so far. And that's it. That is pretty much everything we really know about the film as of right now. Still, new information is definitely going to be coming out in the next few months when cameras start rolling, but for now, this is it. And personally, I cannot wait until we get our first trailer around Christmas later this year. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you've all continued to support me the way you do, and I never want you to ever forget that. 
Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next one guys, and as always, take it easy.